Hello, this is Stanley Peterson. Uh, we're out here. Um, the uh, gang from uh, Jefferson House 2 Plus One at uh, Minnehaha Beach. Uh, that's what it used to be called. Now it's called Tamarack Beach uh, over on Tamarack in Carlsbad, California. Today is um, uh, the 29th of September 2011 and most of the tourists have left Carlsbad and they've gone back to their respected states but we're here on the beach and out there is is an old battleship a lot of people don't know about this missing battleship but there it is I'll try and bring it up uh, I don't know if you can get it out there it's so far away but it's the uh, it's like the um, it's like that battleship. Uh, what was it, the the lost Dutchman? Remember that story? Well, this one was from World War II, and it was a, a Japanese battleship or cruiser, one of the two, and it's been missing, and they wondered where it was at. So uh, I think I've located off Carlsbad here. You, I hope you can see it in the distance. Um, but uh, we'll see if uh, that's the one. But uh, it must be, how many miles would you think that's out there, gang? Uh, it's maybe about 20, 30 miles right at the uh, horizon. And I hope I can catch this. The reason we're down here today is the fact that there was, there was um, the, um, the, uh, Red tide, that means it's fluorescent when the waves come in. They're not very good breakers tonight, but uh, maybe they'll pick up later on. But I'll be with you. But in the meantime, you can look at uh, the, the, uh, the battleship out there. And uh, as, as I'm turning to the, to the uh, right here, it's going down the beach. You can see the Oceanside Pier and uh, you can see it's pretty well deserted this time of year and it'll mo most likely be like this until uh, next uh, next summer Okay, folks, it's, uh, we're watching out there. You can maybe see that uh, ship off on the horizon. And, uh, and I've counted as many as six ships out here right now. I hope you can hear me. Uh, but now I'm waiting for the uh, red tide to come in. It's really supposed to be blue, so hang on, gang. We'll be with you. In just oh, there's a, a guy walking across, across the beach here. But if you look out in the distance, isn't that beautiful? That ship and the sunset, and then we're going to get the red tide coming in here now. And uh, I'll get, uh, I'll come back and I'll show you. But isn't this beautiful? In old Carlsbad, California. Roger it out, I'll be right back. Okay, we're on the beach here in uh, Carlsbad. Uh, it's getting to the end of the day. We're waiting for the uh, red tide. Uh, the same uh, suspects are here that we had last time, but maybe a few more. But uh, it's a little colder today, so we're trying to uh, get our hamburgers and hot dogs and yeah it's beautiful and uh, anyway we're ending the, ending the day but it's still still early we're going to try and get it uh, yeah, it's cooler than the last time but, uh, we got this 
I don't know if you can see it folks, but there is a fishing boat returning uh, from most likely a day trip out uh, to the ocean. Everybody here is enjoying themselves and uh, the pier is lighting up and uh, I'll be taking a picture of that soon. So we're waiting for, uh, there's some, sh I don't know, there's some ships way out there. You can just see their lights. But uh, it's a beautiful evening in Carlsbad. And uh, I feel sorry for those people that uh, don't enjoy uh, the good life. So uh, I'll be back in a few moments and uh, we'll see how the, uh, if the red tide comes in. Somebody said that, come down here uh, can you see the oceanside pier down a string of lights going out I hope you can but anyway it's uh, the Sun is almost well the Sun is down but uh, I'm trying to pick up on the horizon there's ships out there in the ocean in the our blue Pacific Ocean and uh, we're trying to uh, see if the red tide comes in but we did see some uh, we did see some uh, dolphins flying along, or swimming along with the surfers, which was a beautiful sight, but I didn't capture it. So I'll be back in a few minutes and see if the blue tide or the red okay, tide. Okay, folks, we're uh, winding it down here on uh, the Carlsbad Beach. Uh, I don't see the red tide coming in tonight, so I think I missed it. So. Uh, Bear with me until next time, but uh, it's a beautiful evening. I'm amazed at all the people that are coming out here. You can see the uh, power station in Carlsbad. Uh, that, the reason I said that on previous, uh, previous uh, filmings is the fact that it was built in, I believe they said 1947. And in 1902, this was called the Minnehaha Beach, but now it's called the Tamarack Beach. And there's the Oceanside Pier. And you can see the ships, their lights out in the uh, background. But uh, it doesn't look like we're going to have a red tide tonight. What's, what's uh, amazing, too, is the, the uh, surfers 
that still go out and uh, swim at this time of night. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, they say the red tide is coming in. Uh, as we're looking down the beach here in Carlsbad, but uh, I don't see anything red. <laughs> but anyway, I'll swing back here and see if we can pick something up. Um, it's so cotton picking dark out here right now. Here comes a nice breaker in. You see anything red, gang? Uh, maybe a little bit. But anyway, um, we'll end up the evening here. Um, it's maybe about 8 o'clock, something like that. Here on uh, Thursday the 29th. Tomorrow's the last day of September. So, uh, have a good evening, and uh, we'll see you next time. This is uh, Jacobson976 giving you a report from the beach at Carlsbad. So have a good evening, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Oh, this is Stan Peterson, by the way. Bye.
by His grace, we may have faith. By His grace, that we have journeyed on undaunted against the perils that had beset us. We're beginning a new journey here. Within these walls, yes, but within the power of the Holy Spirit to go and proclaim and bring others to know Jesus. Because the times are right. This is a day and age when we need to show forth the truth of God's Word as it is exemplified in the church's leaders, within the church and her people. That we exemplify and practice, as our lesson in Philippians said, to prove to the world that indeed this is a life that brings glory to the Lord. And you all are the witnesses of that life. Welcome to the feast, the feast of the Lord. It's a day of celebration, of realizing God's amazing grace. Now Isaiah prophesied in the 25th chapter, and we read this morning, 